small piece of living history concerning mass media was found in an interview of Vernon and Carol Milgram of Orange City, Iowa. We didn't have a TV for a long time. Eventually we got one, black and white, yes. One thing that was very uh, controversy when it first came out was that a lot of people didn't consider you could watch TV on Sunday. And so, it, and on Sunday nights you would do more visiting. After church you would go to friends or whatever and visit. And some friends could watch TV on Sunday night. And we could not watch TV on Sunday night. So it was always interesting to, you know, there were shows, there was different things available on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And so that was a temptation to, to watch that then versus not being able to watch it. Yeah. Will of Fortune is, is my favorite show. Yeah? Yeah. Do you guys watch that consistently every night then? Yeah. If we're done eating supper by that time, yes. The TV goes on. Sometimes I don't even do my dishes till it's over because that is one show I enjoy watching. There were a lot more family oriented shows that you could watch, that you had more options than you do now because now there's very little TV that's worth watching. We never had it as long as we lived on the farm. But since we moved to town, I think probably we've had it 10 years. Grandpa can check out the Craigslist. Yes. And, uh, that's my favorite show. <laughs> that's what he likes in the computer the most. And, um, yeah, yeah. or even if we miss, miss Swap Shop, he can get that online. Years involved technology. <laughs> what about when your kids are dating? Did they use technology to for dating? No, there wasn't cell phones. There wasn't computers. Uh, there was telephone. And yeah, when they went to a movie, we, you know, didn't want them to go to, to bad movies if they went to movies. Mm -hmm. Did they go to movies often for dates or? Not real often, I don't think. I don't think that that was a big part of their life. Mm -hmm. no. So then, what about what what about what you know about your grandkids dating? Do you know if technology influences their dating a lot? I don't know. Yeah, we're out of the loop as far as that goes. <laughs> But yes, I think sometimes, I think all the texting, I don't know if that's good. I, people are not even learning how to communicate anymore with each other, talking to each other. Mm -hmm. It seems like even, you know, they can be standing, you know, not even that far apart, and instead of talking to them, I see them texting, and to me that's very frustrating. Or if they are visiting with you and they are texting someone else while they're visiting with you is not very <laughs> not very good manners mm -hmm. that there is things that some of these younger kids have to learn but communication by mouth is still a better thing than with texting or facebook or anything After the interviews, we see changes in mass media as affecting our lives in a negative way. When television was introduced, consumption was highly regulated and the shows were family-oriented. Now media is full of inappropriate material and has penetrated every area of our lives. The changes in communication are also very dramatic. With the introduction of new media, communication has gone digital and relationships have become harder to build on a deeper level. We look to the future and worry how the next advancements in media will become more corrupted and more consuming. I think now kids, uh, nowadays, kids spend too much time in front of the computer. 
I, I know a great grandson the other day came home from school and the first thing he wanted to do was to go sit in front of the computer and, and play games or do, you know, just to be on the computer. In our day, we had chores to do or, or you made your fun playing out in the grove or making, using your own, your own imagination to make things. Nowadays, kids have to be entertained by the computer or by the TV. They don't go out and explore things the way we did when we were young. I don't, I don't think that technology has improved the life for a young kid. They don't use their imagination enough. Well, the bell shine on the one that's gonna let me blue.